Hey guys, it's Cyclone here, and I wanted to bring you guys a quick update on how I'm playing Moe's in a slightly different way. Just take a look at the Mayhem modifiers I'm running here. It's fairly neutral for what I'm a a trying to do. Shotgun is nerfed, so my flacker will be weaker. Um, also, incendiary damage is lower. But my grenade should be able to melt this guy through this run. What I'm using, guys, is the Sticky Quasar. This thing is amazing. You know, unless you run into something really stupid, like, uh, you know, minus damage, minus damage, minus elemental, you know, that baloney. If you have a fairly um, neutral mayhem run, this thing is ridiculously good. Now, the way to make it good is to pair it with things like this. I have this this pretty good class mod with splash damage radius and splash damage with some perks there. In addition, I have shock damage and area damage on my artifact. And it also happens to heal my health whereas the transformer heals my shields. So this alone is uh, really good. Let me actually, I just got this incredible Unforgiven with that huge crit roll. Um, but yeah, so... Uh, this is just simply using the Quasar as a single target grenade. After I kill Trant, I will go to the drop pod and show you how I play with that in addition to this Gibber Gun. Even though it's going to be nerfed this run, the Quasar, in addition to this, makes for a very fun gameplay style. And I can also use Thunderball Fists if I so desire. That's also a possibility. But let's just go here and try to kill Trot with basically just grenades and see what happens. They start exploding. The shield should start melting. Here we go. Here we go. It's going to be a good time. Here we go. Watch this. Watch this health bar. Hit the crit spot. Come on. I killed him faster before. Um, that's all right. Oh. Let's see what I got just for the hell of it. Um, indomitable. Five percent to drop. <laughs> Interesting. Does that drop fire? IEDs. Hmm. Oh, the transformer again. Hmm. I'm interested by that whiskey tango. Hmm. I, it's funny, I actually got a Whiskey Tango last round, which I actually really liked. Um, I've actually never seen a Whiskey with fire resistance on it. No, I like this because the you want the amp on it because with Moe's you'd keep... You could use it with a shotgun or something. But anyway, enough of that. Let's go to the drop pod. And let me actually show you how this plays with mobbing. So, um... Oh, are we going to get trance music stuck on this the whole time? I think so. Yeah. So traditionally, I'm going to go with this homing uh, TDR and combine it 
with this grenade. And I'll show you what it can do together. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, combo breaker. Oh my goodness. He's gone, he's gone. Watch this, watch this. Okay. When you combine it with this TD or, um, or any sort of like, First of all, this is a homing double TDR SMG with the E-Tech. So it makes a big incendiary puddle. But the homing part is really key because... Stop dodging! Oh my god! Remember, there's less incendiary damage this round. But there is. It is what it is. Alright, let's just do this. Fuck the flamethrower heavy. Just do this. A bunch. There we go. I'm sick of being nice. Oh, the badass. The badass. Man, there's so many badass heavies and heavies. F you. See how it just does a cool little effect? A nice area puddle. And uh, you don't have to aim a gun. You don't have to be really in position. You just gotta throw this thing up. It'll do some nice damage. You throw one of these up there. Oh, you, or you miss like I just did. Now you can throw this up there. It's just a nice little one-two combo, and if you get really into a situation, you can just start spamming the the grenades. And the single target is pretty good. You can a spinner with fire and binary spinner, and it's a terrible gun though. Terrible gun. Fairly high DPS roll, if I'm not mistaken. Watch that become good one day, and you'll be like, oh, I wish I had the spinner. This grenade at the moment is trash. I'm going to keep it, though. Maybe they'll increase its usability. Nah, fuck that. Well, let's keep going. Pardon me.
Damn! That increased damage. It's just fun for like getting rid of all the baloney that's in your way. That's why I like it. Now, I also like the SMG TDR because of the high magazine. It still does great damage, not as much as the shotgun, but you get so many more rounds that you can play with it for a whole farming run and not feel like you're so out of ammo. Uh... Not bad. It's pretty good. Get over here, Wow, look at how many badasses there are. Alright. Whoa! What is cool about this build, and it's probably better for multiplayer, but, like, it has good crowd control while still maintaining decent damage. And that's pretty useful if you're co-oping and you need to do some, you know, repositioning or helping a teammate get out of danger. I mean, this thing just really does help get rid of that enemy pressure that might be on you while you're playing, so... When you get that, that's great. Last time I fought this uh, this idiot, Lieutenant, whatever the fuck his name is. I can't actually remember right now. I'm so tired. I'm about to go to sleep. This guy. He, uh... Beans. He went flying. He's... <laughs> Oh my god! Yo! Oh my god, yo! Beans went flying! Oh my god, that was incredible! That's the whole reason to use this grenade in the first place! When you get shit like that happening? 
Oh my god, it's so amazing. There we go. Yo, beans went flying. That was incredible. Again, I can use this Thunderball Fist and uh, get a nice effect. But yeah, that's going to do it, guys. Uh, I like seeing beans fly. That was awesome.